yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 episode where we play with communist, uh, with fascist Russia. Uh, it's not longer the Soviet Union, like you saw in the last episode, it's now the, uh, the Russian Empire. And we did just send our volunteer to the Spanish Civil War, which are coming back now. We are staging a coup in France of, unfortunately, I started that when I still was communist, so they will turn to be um, part... Uh, if it works, they will be a communist France, but that's an ally less for England, for the United Kingdom. Which makes me already a bit more happy. Because it's going to be quite hard to do anything else again. Uh, we, last time we started to uh, train up a couple of... Actually, 12, 12 mountain divisions. Which will be over at this border, over here. And when then we will start a war against I, uh, Iran. Build up on Chinese border. Okay. Uh, world news. Italian announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. That's good. That still increases the... How we call it? The Not the Marshall Line. Uh, it increases the... What I was going to say. I'm sure I know. Um, huh. I can't say, I can't say it right now. Anyway, uh, political power, yeah, we will go with this one, just take 70 days, and it will start, uh, increase our rubber production quite a lot. So our fleet is just cruising in here at the moment, <clears throat> the Italians are trying to go for that. I was going to see if I could fa form up another faction, but I don't think that is possible. I think I screwed up that one, but I think I might be able to join the Axis even though the Axis will then be again leader. Yeah, I could ask to join the faction. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, though. I would like to stay a little bit on my own for, at least for the... Japan declared war on Xiang. That's okay. Uh, on China. Forces have been fighting in National Spain, have returned home in Leningrad. Okay, our seven tank divisions are back. That's those over here. And those seven tank divisions will be actually already having a front down here. So they will be providing first first assaults, sort of sort to say. I think. Yeah. I think that's a good that's a good idea. Uh, we still could modify our government, uh, which we haven't done in um, much lately. Okay, so we will pause here for a second. Uh, I'm done with that. It's still 37, so I can't do anything else over here. I could start with synthetic oil, but it takes 255 days to research that. I could also start... No, it's not 1940. <laughs> but I could get into other fighters or into bombers and everything and I think I should well close air support hmm should I start the research over there or should I go with any of those guys that's 1940 tech right yeah the other landing crafts are 1940 tech that's the doctrines I'm not going down the doctrines right away I could go into any tank research I have researched the BT-7 so I should switch my production I will get into hospital. Just realized that's more important. I think we do not have marines yet, though. I think we still need to research the marines. So tank designer, we could get max speed more. We could get reliability and soft attack more. We could get armor and hard attack more. Uh, I think I would like to have them faster. And we will need an army defense guy, uh, army reformer. Uh, purged by Stalin, not purged by Stalin, okay. Um, division defense or division training time, division speed. I think I go with the training time. And actually in here we could, ah, I'm out of... Damn it! I should have done those first, which would have helped with production and everything. Uh, anyway, how is production going? We are still producing quite a lot of civil factories, but I think we can start 
on producing military factories. By the way, if you shift click a province, it will fill it up automatically to full. So we can't do anything here. We could do anything here, 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 here. Uh, to the Polish border, I don't know if that is real smart. Moscow can get a couple more. I uh, think that should work out for the beginnings. And yeah, with our tanks are still moving over here. And uh, our mountain divisions are in training. Which is actually quite good going. I could already rush them. But oh, just one producing one at the moment. That's good. But anyway, in here we needed to switch from those tanks to the BT-7 tanks. And we have some experience. I think we could go with the main gun. Oh, we could get even more. Two with the main gun. And one reliability. That's too much. One main gun, one reliability. Yeah, so we will get the Mark 1. And we need 4,800 of those upgrades needed. <laughs> But any, at least those will be changed in here, uh, edit, they will replace all of those guys. And I still have nine left, so I can add another one. Safe. So I now have a combat width of 20. With, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. But anyway, those are my tanks moving in through uh, very rural areas. And that's still going to take a little while. Meanwhile, what's the Germans up to? anti in turn pack. That's good. We are no longer common turn. Those here are still... Uh, we're still boosting party popularity. Ooh, the fascist... Uh, Communist France has lost quite a lot of popularity. The Democrats have gotten quite a lot more. And the coup will start still in April. So still about a half year out. Oh no, actually more. More than a half year to go. I don't know if I should start claims on Finland or not I'm not a hundred percent sure about that or if I should go for Estonia and the stuff first let me see if there is a, like a focus to to grab Estonia and everything uh, anti capitalist the common turn expand the red fleet claim on Skian that's China uh, expand the red fleet. Istanbul Izmir Busar Izmir okay that one is good that's that gave me claims on Turkey uh, that gives me claims on Lithuania and Latvia, which I can won't do because I will be pro-fascist, not anti-fascist. Uh, same here. So I need to to get claims against those two countries here. They don't have a lot. I think I should be able to take them. So I, I will start to to fabricate a uh, justify a war goal, conquer uh, about what Riga Tarun. Tartu. Yeah. Start the, the clarification, which will take February 38. Um, justify a war goal. Vidimes. I would like to have a Riga, actually. And I think that was it. Uh, no, we are also justifying a war goal uh, against Lithuania. Uh, conquer and Memel. Even though, no, not Memel. I do not have enough political power to do that. Good, good to know. So we need, uh, time is still running good. I didn't stop there. That would have been bad. Um, hmm. How far along are my troops? Oh, about half done. I will wait though. Uh, if they train completely up, they will be uh, come out as regulars. Which will be good. And I think those guys here are... All regulars. I don't have any green guys anywhere, I think. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, I don't. I think I don't. Details. Radio has been researched. I could go for first radar. Huh. It's still 37, so this is still researching. I think I left to leave that to be. Uh, should I? That's 1940 tech. Um... 36 though, I could go down the battleship route. I think I leave that for the moment. Uh -huh. 
tanks are good as well for the moment. Researching that, I could. The future belongs to the Russian Empire. Uh, speaks against Latvia. I think that is my claim against Latvia. I think I'm now able to attack Latvia. But let me check. I think. Uh, should I get the, mar the, the the Marines? Or should I save that up and wait till I'm in the 41 to get the mechanized one? 38 I can start. Uh, it's a 0. Point f yeah, it's too long. Too long ahead. I think I can win the Marines. Let's research the Marines. Who knows? We might need them. So this is Latvia. No, this is Estonia. This is uh, Latvia. Do I have my claim against them already? Uh, no, it's in February. So I don't know what 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 the government was saying there. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But yeah, so time needs to be running. It keeps running. I need to keep running to keep the time running. Uh huh. And so they are building quite nicely. So the civil factories are coming along. This will be done in November. This will be done in November. Uh, yeah, look at that. Two times. <laughs> this will be done on 7th of November. This will be done on 27th of November. This will be done in March. <laughs> no, it won't take till 39. In March 39. Because as soon as this is done, it will put more factories into this. So that's pretty good. Oh, uh, crap. I, did I never change to... Yeah, I did. Uh, to early mobilization. That should help out quite nicely. So, should I start to fabricate against Finland? I don't know. I don't know. What's the Germans doing? The Germans are... China has volunteers from the German Reich. Why are you supporting China and not Japan? That is weird. So, details... Uh huh. That gave me more oil. Anti-Comintern Pact. Germany proposed that we sign a pact recognizing that the aim of the communist international known as the Comintern is to disintegrate and subdue existing states by all means of its command. E yes. Yeah, I'll join. I'll join. I'll join. Why not? What could be? What could go wrong, right? <laughs> We are not at war yet, so I can still can't do that. I could go social realism, which gives me just 120 political power. Nothing else. I don't think I need the political power that pressingly. Uh, I can't start that because I have done this. Uh, I could go with militarized schools, which gives me a little bit more recruitable population. This will increase the production speed, so we go with that. Um, Japan. I could send volunteers to Japan. But I guess I should send them to China if the Germans did that as well. Yeah, they have volunteers from China. Okay, I'll send volunteers as well. And I send uh, my seven tank divisions again. I can send eight. Never mind then. So, where are my tanks? <laughs> Um, type and tanks. So you here, you here will be added to this guy over here. Yep, now it's eight. Now it is eight, and we will go again, and we will send we will send tanks to China. If the Germans do that, we should do that as well. We want to. We want to be actual on the German side. That's what you guys requested, to be fascist Russia. So they will accept our volunteers and our volunteers will be there on the 6th of October. So we have to wait just a couple of days. They will be there. I'm wondering where they'll travel. Uh, Sock has submitted to Italy. So Italy... Italy is still alone. They haven't packed up with the Germans or anything yet. Which is interesting. Uh, like I said, the Germans helping China instead of Japan, which is even more interesting. And that's because I took out the 
Um, what's what? What was it called? The uh, historical AI. I turned that one off for this playthrough again. So I did that in the first episode, and like this, like I said in the beginning, this is like the fourth or fifth start over, because I just couldn't get uh, get it to work. I always was overrun by the Soviet Russians, because I did not change the government peacefully. I always decided to start a civil war. And I just had no chance against the ma amount of manpower the Soviets kept. Even though I had like uh, like 86% or I think one time it was like 75% of uh, uh, political ma majority. Is that the right word? I think it's the right word. I'm not 100% sure though. <laughs> So, where are my volunteers? One more day. Time is running, time is running, time is running. And there they are. So, where do we have them? They landed somewhere. Over here they landed. And I think we will destroy those guys down here real quickly. We will move just down here. Just down there you move. And then we will actually start to help up in the north. But first we need to bop this little landing down here. The Germans also have their troops over here. And I think they took this because this looks like uh, it, Japanese troops trying to escape. Uh, my tanks are very, very slow. I probably should have, say, a uh, uh, hold. Move over here. Yes. Because now they are doing a... Uh, what's it called? Strategic deployment. Uh, which takes away all their organization though. So that's good. And now you move over here. Yep. You get a little bit of organization and you just go. Yep, there are my tanks. And actually, two of you... That's okay. Oops, not details. Uh, uh, <laughs> what I'm doing? I'm doing, I'm doing horrible things. It's still 97, uh, 37. So we are researching. We did research. Should I research the radio company now, or should I go for anti tank? Going with the anti tank research first. Uh, okay. So we had our. Chinese volunteers and I need the first two tanks which will move uh, which have a hold and move in here and Those two tanks have a hold and move in here and the other four tanks still move in there. That's good. I like that They did not they stopped why did they stop those four tanks move in here and actually move down here. Oh, okay, I can't do that anymore. We are actually losing down here. Why are we losing down there? Ah, because it's a mountain. Um, yep, yeah, now they got attacked from a different angle and they started their attack again. I think we should be able to pop the Chinese down here. Even though we have just eight tank battalions down here. Uh, we're still doing quite good. They can barely hurt us. Uh, details, we did research that. That's good. Should I go with anti-air? <sighs> I'm not quite sure. I could research the heavy tank as well. Let's research the heavy tank. After all, we have increased research speed. So, okay, those tanks are actually in here, which is cool. Uh, they're winning against this, they're winning this fight though. So, move in here, try to take the city, and you guys, actually, you guys all move in here. We should be able to bob those guys, even though we are actually losing at the moment. Uh, there are no enemy airplanes in there. Um, the combat width is 190. Ah, now we're winning. Just took a second to change. Uh, we are bopping uh, Fuzo. Fuzo. Uh, I think we will get this town done and occupied. And then we have to just take this harbor and a Siam and the other harbor. Uh, Konstantin has a question, Latvia sovereignty, who dis dis determines the borders of the n of a nation and how are they with the mayor? Uh, okay, uh, gets events, Konstantin has a question, Latvia sovereignty. Okay, 
I think we are trying to get a claim that's still working for the Latvia claim here. Uh, it still takes a while till we have the claim. Oh, and the United Kingdom has guaranteed Latvia. That's interesting. Very interesting. What's the Germans doing? The, the Germans are naval re rearmament. They are on their re naval rearmament. Which is okay. Uh, we are still going in here. Our tanks did stop. Why? Ah, they probably got repelled. Yeah. Okay, we bopped that. Uh, so you two tanks. Estonia. Agreed by Estonian posturing. Okay, so you need to bop those guys. You are defending at the moment, which is good. You're just dug in. Where? Oh, okay. Um, so you come over here. Try to bop those guys. What? They really just repelled the, my tank army? Okay, never mind then. Take CM. And if we take CM, yep, we took CM. And now we take all tanks except one except the one uh, move in here yep that works out <laughs> those just get bopped instantly <laughs> so we take Fouzon which should help uh, because this tank is in Siam he's not getting attrition at the moment which is quite interesting and um, actually anybody else is moving in so we are going to take the next harbor uh, naval base if possible and we take we did take Fuzo. Fuzo is ours and then I guess we will be able to yeah like just really push with everybody down here that should work out in my favor shouldn't it I really hope it will <laughs> so we are pushing through here uh-huh and the tanks just came in here and they will start bobbing here. Yeah, look at that. Zack, they're gone. And why are we losing at the moment? Reserve. Oh, I have to look on the other side. We are actually... No, we are actually losing. Against those guys? Why? Oh, they have airplanes in here. Interesting. Not very fair and interesting. And this is like not the ideal um, terrain for tanks. So let's, whoops, that's the wrong button. Let's take you, you, you. You should move, hold, and you should move in here. Can't you move in there? Why can't you move in there? Hold. Japanese build up. We cannot afford to war with Japan. We push back hard. Okay, focus is complete. Uh, which was which, which which was which focus? This one, militarist high school, and we go straight away with this one because that will give us more more production speed. <clears throat> so come on, guys, don't be like that. Uh, failed raid. Our raid across the Manchurian border against the Japanese force massing there was. A failure. The enemy f caught our forces in the pincer movement and we took heavy casualties before I managed to. Amur manpower, political power, army experience. Okay, so uh, where is Amur? Uh huh. Is that up here, Amur? I don't know. No. That's Mongolia. That's Amur. Okay. That's no good. So we lost a couple of units up here, but we get a little bit of political power and everything. Oh, by the way, political power. We need to go in here, and this one gives us minus 10 industrial research time, and this gives us minus 10 electronic research time. We don't need that straight away. We will go in here, though, and here we get... Nope, not the rocket scientist. Uh, not the nuclear scientist. Naval Thion, air warfare, grand fleet, close air support... Military theorist, army experience gained is plus 0 0.5, 0 0.05, and land doctrines are researched faster. So I think I should go with that one first. Because that one is also just, yeah, I go with that one first. Which is good. 
Uh, we do not have any more units being produced, but we have those units down here. They will be a new army, and they will get a new front line, which is this one over here. And they should just, 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 just hold this front line here, which should work out very nicely. The Chinese volunteers are still working down here, uh, right? So we did win this battle. Seven. And you three. Actually, you three. You should move in this province. You're doing that, right? Yes, they are. Uh, but it takes it. Oh, it's uphill battle. <laughs> the future belongs to the Russian Empire. Uh, la la la, speaks against Estonia. Okay, we are we are getting claims against Estonia as well. I think I probably should produce a little bit more units to actually attack Estonia, because I think that's all I have is two. Th oh, I got five tanks in here and a little bit, and they just can attack through two provinces, like it looks like. So uh, that's this army over here, which is Army 14. Yes, Army 14 will get uh, offensive plan like this, just so they get a bonus. That's good. And this army here is Army 20. That one will get an offensive uh, order to go all the way to here. Uh, which will also start their bonus. So this is army 20, right? Uh, army orange, yep. Yeah. They will get a commander. Uh, they don't need a field marshal, they need just a normal general. Uh, they do not have any tanks, so they don't need a special general with tanks. Well, I think I'm going to produce some tanks. Yeah, no, you get this general. And use this army is this one over here, and they will get. Uh, they have some tanks, so they will get the level four tank general. Uh, general with tank, tank treatment, so to say. So how are my volunteers doing? My volunteers are still pushing over here, but it is not going as fast as I had planned. Oh, there will be an end to the conflict. Motives of Latvia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. We are still still getting... Oh, we are getting to get... I don't know. which. What's this province's name? Wangdong. We did take Wangdong. So there is no more uh, no more naval forts anywhere. Uh, I think two of your tanks should do. Like you and you. That should be enough to bop this, guys. And the other three should actually be able to bop those guys over here. That should work out. So we did clean up the area down here. So you could go up here as well. And as soon as you have guys have bobbed those guys, we will be able to move in here and have another front with some tanks to come from the other side, I think. And if I manage to do that, that will probably be the end of this episode because I'm already going for about close to 30 minutes. <clears throat> But it's real fun that it is working out. I really like that. And one, two, three. Come on. Please. I don't know where I try to go. Those will be stack wipes, which is quite hard for Japan because Japan has... Oh, no, they actually managed. Japan has actually quite a low uh, manpower, if I remember correctly. Well, not quite low, but lower than other nations. And yeah. So we have a combat width of 160 and we use 180 at the moment, right? Yep. And all my tanks are actually in, plus uh, German Infantry Division. <laughs> well, my general is the best at the moment, uh, even though the enemy has anti-air. I probably should have gotten some anti-air battalions in there. <clears throat> probably would have helped me out a little bit. And 93, 94, 95, 96. So we will wipe, uh, stack wipe all those guys. Yep, perfect. Perfect, so you guys will get a front line, which will be from... Uh, we must really behind relay behind this cause. Yes, I know. So you will have a front line over here, and you will have an offensive line to here. Yep, yeah, that's good. 
But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be it for this video. If you did like this video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links will be in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.